Hello, how are you? This is the Daily Tarot Card Reading. I'm going to do Soulmate Reading today. Um, it's a beautiful day here in England, um, just north of London. So where are you? Maybe put in the comments where you where you live. It's, it's really nice hearing where everybody is across Gaia. And I'm sending you lots of love to wherever you are across Gaia. So thanks for uh, supporting the channel. And uh, let's just go into this reading. How are you feeling? Um, it, yeah, it's going to be a soulmate reading. So because we just did the Twin Flame one. Twin Flame at the moment looks like they're needing some time time out to process things um so let's see what's going on for the soulmate okay so just uh, feeling the energy of spirit um right two cards came out straight away trust and true love <laughs> trust and it says here this situation is calling for you to have faith have faith and also true love and it says, this is the romance of a lifetime. <laughs> so there's definitely a soulmate here. Um, you need to trust at the moment. I know it's difficult. I know it's very testing. Um, but this is what spirit is saying you need to do. Let's go a bit deeper. Let's get some goddess energy here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mystery. Why is all this happening? Why is all of this happening the way it's happening? There is certain things going on that uh, spirit knows about and you don't. And uh, invisible forces are at play. Anything that hasn't been going on very well for you lately, that hasn't been progressing with your soulmate the way you would have liked, uh, particularly if you haven't met your soulmate yet or you think you're with your soulmate but it's not been easy um you've got your guides very close to you this is the card saying that your spirit guides are extremely close to you at the moment um you must have trust you must stay as aligned as you can and i understand what it's like <laughs> we're all we're all on gaia together here and i don't care what spiritual teacher you talk to everyone is going through the same thing and that is that the 3D matrix is extremely challenging to live in. And that is why everybody has their their issues, their addictions, their obsessions, you know? There's not one person that hasn't got some kind of addiction or obsession because it's so hard coping living in this matrix, you know? Right, a load of cards have just gone on the floor, so um, I'm going to have to use those, I think. Um, let's see. Let's have a look. Okay, so what's been happening, this is the recent past, um, there's been a delay in action, some sort of delay. Um, it feels like there's an ending. It feels like somebody's just not really being honest with you. You don't know if they're playing games, um, you know, and you've been feeling quite stuck with it all, but you're starting to realise about how you need to move on because something's not in vibrational alignment. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's going on? Moving forward. I think you could be moving forward here. Now, I want to say, not everyone's going to relate to this reading, because this is a collective reading, so you're not always going to resonate with my readings. You know, uh, You just have to see on the given day whether it's for you or not. And sometimes there can be a message within a reading that's important and it's maybe it's not the whole reading but there's a particular message that is for you um so let just i just wanted to say that because i feel what i'm getting shown here is a sense of moving forward moving on because we've got that six of swords after lots of tricky challenges that you just saw and then the chariot we'll pick a card to go with the chariot Letting go of the past. I think you're realising it's time to let go of the past where you might have been hanging on, hanging on. Realising now you've got to move forward, right? Um, now, the person you think about, they're, they're still stuck in the past or just not able to be very present. They probably find the present moment quite painful, you know? 
and uh, it's uncomfortable in the present moment. Now this person is quite a dominant force, they've got the emperor. So this person normally would be extremely strong and in control and they're, they're a very masculine person. Doesn't matter what gender or sexuality they are, but they're very masculine. And uh, this person, yeah, they're, they're struggling to be in the present moment with you, which is not very good because if someone can't be in the present moment with you, um, it's not really being manifested from spirit. You know, it's a sign that it's kind of your ego and their ego maybe making it happen when actually it's not really happening through spirit because spirit is only in the present moment. So that's how that's a really good way of knowing whether a connection or a relationship is working out, uh, whether that person can be in the present moment with you, you know, like really present. Not like I'm saying they've got to be there all the time. Uh, no, but if you're doing a lot of waiting around for somebody all the time, it's a, it's a good sign a strong sign that they're not able to be in the present moment with you. And then that means the, the relationship isn't really accessing the power of spirit. Um, now you've got here the Ace of Cups reversed. What do they think about you? I think this person is struggling because I think they've got feelings for you, but they're struggling to own their feelings. Yeah, this person's had a lot of pain in their life. Look at that. They've had a lot of pain in their life and they're repressing feelings. That's what I feel. Um, how do they feel? Well, they want justice for themselves. This is what they're really looking for. Uh, they're not really thinking about you. I think this person is thinking more about themselves. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, look at that, looking forward. So I feel they're thinking about how can they have a life where they get what they deserve. So they're not really thinking about other people, they're just thinking about how do I get my life so I get what I deserve. And um, you know, they are working on moving forward with their life, they're working on letting go of the past stories and their, their pain, because obviously they've had a lot of pain. But their way of dealing with it is to shut down emotions so that they don't feel too much with you and to look forward um, and just kind of think about how do I get what I deserve. So they're just being quite selfish really. How they want to move forward is, again, they don't really um, connect to themselves. They've got the Nine of Cups in reversed. They're not really connected in here to themselves, they're definitely suppressing something. I think the, for some reason, this person doesn't feel comfortable at present, and I don't know what it is, because this is a collective reading, but it's like there's something in their life that's not making them feel comfortable, and they don't want to address it, or they don't know how to address it, maybe it's very difficult to address. So um, they're really trying not to actually sort of be in the present moment they're just trying to block it out um yeah and they've got the justice reverse that's so weird isn't it there's something very karmic going on very very karmic and um at the moment i think this person's gone into some sort of weird denial um and they just they're struggling to cut the karmic patterns they don't know how to face their fears and I think their way of dealing with it at the moment is to suppress their feelings towards you. I'm sorry, because I know that some people are just really not gonna wanna hear this, um, but I'm being honest with you. And they're just using their life at the moment to try to get what they deserve, try to keep moving forward, and they do anything they can to sort of not really be connected in the present moment. What's hidden that you don't see? Now you have got the Ace of Wands here. So that's an opportunity. Now that is an opportunity that's very creative and successful. Also sexual attraction. Um, there's um, a lack of success here and there's um, a knock to the ego. 
I feel that they could be using you sexually. I'm just being honest. I feel they could be using you sexually and um, the advice from Spirit is that you need to pull back emotionally. Uh, we've got here the Queen of Cups reversed. So you need to pull back emotionally because um, you deserve the best. And, um, you know, this is not the best. If you pull back and you just concentrate on connecting with soul family, you're going to be much happier. Much, much happier. Okay, um, now... The outcome here, <laughs> oh my God, Page of Cups and Knight of Cups reversed. That's nuts. That is totally, totally mad. Um, you know, this, I'm gonna pull another card, but these two cards, you know what they are, don't you? The Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups are the two masculine energies for love. Beautiful, beautiful love, heart chakra love, but they're in reverse. Let's pick a card to go with those. <laughs> Eight of Cups, walking away. Suppressing all these feelings. It's so frustrating, look at that. All of that love and walking away. Um, let's pick a Lover's Oracle card. <laughs> I'm sorry, God. I'm so sorry, I just... I can't believe this is coming through, really. It's really annoying. Um, look, deep within your heart, you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. I know what I'm going to say. I'm just going to pick two more, three more cards, and then I'm going to say what it is. Same cards. It's the same card keeps coming out. I feel this is for the same person, and I do feel this reading is for a lot of you. I'm ignoring other people. This person's not seeing anybody else. They're not talking to other people. They're not interested in talking to other people. They do like you. The advice from spirit, stay silent. Right, so I know exactly what I'm gonna say. Just gonna pick this one more card. Krishna. Oh. This is funny because I keep saying this is to me. This is Krishna is the god of love. Um, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognised, and you are loved unconditionally. <sighs> right. So, what I what I'm getting shown is you've got a soulmate here. You've met at the wrong time, and this is true love. You and this person should be in love, right? Um, you need to trust and have faith because at the moment this situation is going wrong, wrong and wrong. This person's got deep feelings for you. They've got the Ace of Cups, they've got the Knight of Cups, they've got the Page of Cups. This is all to do with timing. Bad timing. Um... They're going through a very selfish stage in their life because they don't know how to process their problems, whether that's current problems or problems from the past, they're struggling. And what you've got is a situation where really you could end up waiting quite a long time for this person to sort themselves out. And I feel Spirit is saying at the moment, the best thing we can do is to pull back from this person. Um, because otherwise you're kind of opening yourself up to a situation that is causing a lot of confusion and a lot of frustration. Um, because they're not ready. They are not ready for a relationship. But it's so frustrating and annoying because this person does really love you deep down. And I think they know deep down they do have feelings for you, but they cannot access those feelings because the timing is wrong. They have still got healing to do. Now, please remember you are supported here by the most amazing energies because we've got 
you know, the mystery card, the spirit guides card, and Krishna, you know, and not only that, but this is a very divine energy to stay silent. What I would endeavour you to do here, from what I can see in these cards, is you do need to trust. You do need to remember that there is true love here. The advice is to pull back your energy. You've got a lot of love for this person, but you need to put your love into your soul family and into self, into spirit. Now, you're not waiting around for this person because that's not going to do you any good. But also at the same time, I don't think you should really say to this person that you don't want them because I don't think you're ready to do that either. I don't know what's going to happen, but what I would say to you is spirit is completely in charge of this situation. You are not in charge of this situation. And it will unfold as per the divine plan. And if you two are supposed to be together, you will come together at the right time when spirit sees fit. But this is not the right time. So you are being reminded that it's true love. You can see it and sense it and the cards are confirming all of those feelings that this person is suppressing, you are not imagining it. But at this moment in time, they are being selfish. They have to do it because they're trying to find their power again after their power sort of, it feels like they feel they've lost their power and they don't know how to get it back. And until they get their power back fully, they can't embrace love or you properly. So if you can try to pull back from this person, that would be the best thing you can do right now. And focus on other areas of your life, you know? You don't, I always say, you don't have to cut the cord. You don't have to tell them that you're moving on and you're never gonna speak to them again, shutting the door. You don't have to say any of those things because a spirit is gonna take care of all of this for you. If you two are supposed to be together, which I do suspect you are, you will come together at the right time. But that time is not right now. Um, it, it's really important now for you to honour your energy as much as you can. Okay, so that's the message. And um, I think at the moment you just both need space because you can see how much feelings they've got that they are suppressing, but they just need space. Can you see that? It's a bit like, try to see it like if you broke an arm or a leg, you couldn't just go straight back out on the playing field or straight back into running a marathon you would need space and that is what this person needs they need space to heal space and time and you can't wait around for them you do have to live your life you have to do everything in your power to stay vibrationally vibrationally aligned and while you're doing that they'll be going off doing their healing like you would if you had a broken leg it's so much harder to have compassion and understanding when we can't see physically what's wrong um, but don't put your attention on them, put your attention on spirit. Stay silent, stay in trust of, of spirit and let spirit decide what is going to happen with your life. You don't need to go searching for anybody else, you don't need to shut the door on this person but you do need to live your life and concentrate on spirit and if you do that, spirit will take care of this situation for you. you there is so much love around this connection, but this person really does need space for their healing. Um, and then we'll see what happens. And that is the message for today, and I hope it does help you, because that is a very unusual message to get it that clearly, um, and that obviously what's going on. So I thank Spirit for that, I really do, because I think that that needed to be put across. So I'm sending you lots of love, I'm sending you so much peace and love across Gaia. If you want to book in for a reading, you can. I know some of you live in different countries and sometimes you contact me and it's, I just want you to know, I'm happy to do a reading any time of day or night. <laughs> it's not a problem to me, you know. With my, with my blood, I can get up any time of day or night for a reading. So if you're in Australia, if you're in America or wherever you are, uh, you know, you can book in with me and we'll do it at the time that fits in with you because that's, my life is, a bit crazy anyway so I'm fine with that and I just want you to know you're not alone I'm here we're all here together on this channel um sending you lots of love and peace across Gaia and thank you so much for your support as well peace